Solving quadratic equa equations. We're going to start in main and uh, everything's clear so we can start typing x to the power of 2 plus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. And I'm going to tap execute just to make sure that uh, what I typed in shows up on the uh, right hand side. We'll get the keyboard up and simply tap on the word solve and tap execute and our equation has been solved. Um, notice there may be uh, one, two or possibly no solutions to our, our equation. For example, let's just take the equation down, modify it so that we've got plus nine at the end here. Tap execute and ask ClassPad to solve this one. Tap execute there is just one solution. If uh, the quadratic had been of this form where we had plus 7 at the end and I tap execute and ask class pad to solve it, this time when I press execute we get um, some thirds show up in our answer. Remember if we wanted the decimal approximations to these solutions we tap on them and tap the converter 0.5 to a half and there are their decimal equivalents. Uh, occasionally there may be no solutions. Let's have a look at an equation where that might occur. If we had 12 at the end here, so I tap execute and ask ClassPad then to solve and tap execute again. This time there are no solutions to the equation. So it's um, up to you to figure that out. Now, occasionally things can go a little bit wrong. I'm just gonna tidy up the screen here or apparently wrong. Let's take an equation y squared is equal to 9. Um, we're all as reasonable mathematicians know there's got to be a couple of solutions to this equation for y. Now if we try the previous method of solve and press execute, ClassPad says no solution and the reason is whenever we use solve without anything after it, it looks back to this line, looks for an x. And of course there is no x in this equation. This means we're going to try a slightly different solution. So I'm going to copy our equation, take it to a new line, and we'll use the interactive solve. Here we go. We select the equation we want to solve. Tap on interactive, advanced solve. We could go down to equation solve. They're identical. This time though the variable that we want to solve for is not x. So we'll change that to a Y and tap OK. ClassPed now gives us the solutions we were expecting of positive and negative 3.